Welcome! The Eldorado Selpas have created this quick video tutorial to address commonly asked questions. Following the tutorial, we encourage you to explore our professional learning catalog by scanning the QR code at the bottom of the screen. Let's get started. An e-signature package can be created for a pre-meeting document, such as a meeting notice or assessment plan, on an unaffirmed IEP or an unaffirmed amendment. For that type of e-signature, only one form can be included. An e-signature package can also be created once a meeting has been affirmed, such as the current IEP or an uh, affirmed amendment. This type of e-signature package needs to include all of the forms used in the meeting. To create an e-signature, go to the appropriate meeting. This might be an unaffirmed future IEP, an unaffirmed amendment, a current IEP, or an affirmed amendment. Regardless of where you go, the process is the same for creating an e-signature. Let's look at how to generate a pre-meeting e-signature. Open the student record. and go to the unaffirmed future IEP or unaffirmed amendment. Select either the meeting notice or the assessment plan. Remember, you can only select one for a pre-meeting e-signature. If the student has multiple meeting notices or assessment plans on the future IEP, SACE will prompt you to select the correct one. Then click Generate e-Signature Package and follow the prompts. This pop-up is where you would enter the information about the signers. We will come back to this in a minute. Now let's look at how to generate a meeting e-signature package. Locate the student record, and go to the meeting. Remember, this can be done for both unaffirmed and affirmed meetings. Select all of the forms that were used in the meeting. Then click Generate e-Signature Package and follow the prompts. Note, if you are creating an e-Signature for an unaffirmed meeting, data should not be edited while the e-Signature is in process. Now let's look at how to populate the signer information. This process is the same for all types of e-Signatures. Begin by inputting the signer's full name relationship to student, email, and cell phone number. And click Add. The password will be sent as a text message to the signer. If the signer does not have a cell phone which can receive text messages, the provider will need to share the password with the signer directly. Text message and email are sent as part of a two-step security measure to authenticate that only the intended signers have access to the documentation. Create and input a password. The signer will use this password to access the document that needs to be signed. When adding providers, you can type in their name to search for them. Once you click on their name, their information will be automatically populated. If the signers need to provide for Medi-Cal consent, 
Select Include Medi-Cal Consent Statement. If a Spanish translation needs to be included, select Include Spanish Copy of Forms. If you would like the document pages to be numbered, select Automatically Number Pages. Finally, you must select I acknowledge all documentation and signer information is correct. Then click Send e-signature package. The signers will receive an email from noreply at safesign.org. All recipients must sign within seven days. If the package expires, but not all signers have signed, a PDF will be generated to capture the signatures that were obtained. Thank you for learning with us. If you find this tutorial helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. On behalf of the Eldorado Selvas, thank you for everything you do to improve the outcomes of students with disabilities.